Eventually I got so tired where I got stressed and then being stressed makes you sick. I also read that you have like a sort of, maybe that's the spiritual energy uh, that surrounds you and guides you in the way you want that I quote you like that. Because um, is there maybe some example that, you, you could, that things really turned out the way they had to be due to this energy? Everything happens for a reason and like the path I've taken in life is just like, some of it was accidental, like the way everything started. Like I never tried too hard to to achieve anything. Like my the way my way of thinking was just like I just want people to hear me. Um, I never thought about oh I'm gonna get signed to you know a huge record label. I'm gonna do this. Like everything's just happened. So I know that I'm meant to do this. So I'm not too like fussy about how successful I get. Um, because anything can happen. I don't like to have high expectations and then be let down by stuff. Because, you know, like when I walked away from the whole Def Jam thing, there's not a lot of people that would do that. You know, it was a two way thing, but like I just, you know, I needed a break and I think that happened for a reason. And now I've got my own label and things go more my way than anyone else's. So. You don't say you want to have high expectations. What is the highest goal you had achieved for yourself that you really wanted to achieve? Well, I don't know. Like, I, getting signed to Def Jam was like, whoa, like... What had happened all of a sudden, actually, yeah? It was more yeah, it was like, wow, OK. I'm, I'm being flown over to America to go and meet Jay-Z and, you know, spit some lyrics in front of him. And, you know, that, that meeting was like literally like 20 minutes long. And then 20 minutes later, we get a phone call saying they love you. And I'm like... Okay, but I was really shy in there, but... But it really went really fast? That, that yeah, this, everything this... happened so fast. And it's just amazing, really, because, you know, as far as, like, UK hip-hop goes, I've kind of done a lot, seen a lot, you know, like, more than any other UK, like, hip-hop artist in, in my mm -hmm. time, you know? So, um, you know, I'm proud of myself. But do you feel like more at home now than being away from Def Jam again? Do I feel more? Yeah, do you feel more maybe comfortable now that you're not on their label anymore? Um, Did it put a lot of pressure on you being signed by Def Jam? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, because just things like the pressure for me was like, as I started to get tired with everything, like... Because of what, mostly? Just tons of interviews and traveling around and repeating myself, just doing the same things. Eventually I got so tired where I got stressed and then being stressed makes you sick. And then um, the pressure of, of me being sick and people not understanding the fact that I was sick made me feel like shit. Was there no one in your maybe personal environment that understood what you was doing? Not at the time. I was so far away and broken away from like friends and stuff that it was just like I had no one to really um, confide in or anything or, you know, because, you know, certain people that worked around me as well, like even got a bit like pissed off when I would get sick and refuse to do stuff. And it was like shit, like I feel so alone. And that sucked because no one likes to be alone, and especially when you're in another country and working so hard, you just want to enjoy yourself. And I found it hard to do that. Um, so I'd get angry a lot and frustrated. And but were you more maybe disappointed in the, that maybe music didn't bring as much fun as you hoped it to be? Or was it more the, the isolation of... It was the fact of like, you know, I'd made this great album and in America, the focus was just on one song, Love Me or Hate Me, and like, that that took me to new levels. It was it was amazing. Like I was up there, and it seemed like they didn't want to release anything else from that album, and it was a shame because it kind of it hit me a bit. And because I was just basing my life around love me or hate me, I had no time to make new music. So I felt like I was getting self conscious about it. Every time I did a show, the more and more shows I did, the more self conscious I was. I was like, shit my fans are going to get bored. Well, weren't you, know? you more disappointed in yourself then, in a way, that you yeah. were out of control, maybe, through all the success that you got? 
I don't know, I just felt like I was being controlled and like I had no control over what I could do to the point where I lost it and then I took a year off and that's, you know, I'm here now with my own record label and stuff and I like it this way and, you know, I can only get better.